Oshkosh Media is. Government programming on GovTV, community programming on Life TV, and community radio on Oshkosh FM 101.9. Greetings and welcome to Oshkosh's annual 4th of July parade. We're in downtown Oshkosh. Right now we're looking at the Oshkosh Police and Winnebago County Sheriff's Color Guard. What we see today is certainly respect. Respect for our country, respect for our flag, respect for our veterans. Before the parade started, flags were generously donated by First Weber, Southwest Rotary, and Oshkosh Defense. And we also enjoyed Legion Riders, Oshkosh Aces, Rustic Riders, and the Marine Corps League as they came before the parade started, handing out wonderful flags to all the participants. As you can see, they all have the flags, they're all standing. Do we hear music also? Music is in the background because we're gonna start with a band. So a band is coming after the Sheriff's Color Guard. So let's, again, everyone is standing, hats off, hearts, hands on the hearts, honoring and respecting our flag. Also wanna thank our 4th of July Parade Committee, Dwayne Cannon, Chairman, and Ann Houck, coordinator, who has done a tremendous job in getting all of this organized so we can have this wonderful parade. And here they go. This is the Oshkosh VFW Band under the direction of Lisa Zemlock. 2022, which means this year, is the 75th anniversary of this wonderful band. Let's listen to the music. VFW is proud to serve the veterans and citizens of our wonderful community. And here comes veterans of Foreign Wars post 1908. Again, respect. Respect is, is at hand today as we see the American flag, all the flags that represent all of the armed branches that serve our country, and we enjoy the freedoms we have today because of them. Again, I'm your host, John Neiman. I also host a show on Life TV called The Place to Be Oshkosh, a show based on our community. So make sure to join us at Oshkosh Media, Life TV, for replays of this parade also. The kids are also very excited because, of course, what's a parade without candy? And there's lots of candy being thrown out today at our wonderful parade. Again, this parade is made possible by the wonderful 4th of July committee under the Association of the Vietnam Veterans of America. This parade is organized by them and they do a wonderful job and we thank them. There we go, Cook Fuller Post 70. Of course, what's in style today? Stars, red, white, and blue. And it's a gorgeous day down here in downtown Oshkosh for our annual 4th of July parade. Also remember that fireworks go on tonight and also at Menominee Park today from three to 10, there are 14 food trucks. So it really is going to be a wonderful day here in Oshkosh celebrating our freedoms. In front of us now are 
are the Zor Mavericks. They were chartered in 1984. They ride 1986 Honda Sprees and they participate in over 25 parades throughout the year. You guys The dedicated men who ride these Honda Sprees are an age from 20 to 80 years old. And we thank them for being in our parade and participating. They're always a joy to see. And of course, any proceeds from the Zora Mavericks go to the Shriners Hospital, which provides care for free for children up to 18 years old. Oshkosh Fire Department is next with their fire engines and their ladder trucks. Nice shiny red. Like I said, the color choice for today is red, white, and blue. How patriotic. And it's so nice to see people stand waving the flags that were generously donated by First Weber, Oshkosh Defense, and Southwest Rotary. Again, thank you for joining us in downtown Oshkosh for our annual 4th of July parade. This parade is brought to you by Oshkosh Media. So please go to their website, oshkoshmedia.org, to find out about the replay times, because if you're in the parade, you can't see yourself. So look for replays on Life TV, and also go to YouTube, and like us on YouTube also. What a beautiful day it is today, too. Just to remind that this parade is made up of volunteers, and it's in honor of all the veterans, all those people who gave us the freedoms that we have today. And we, do, we are blessed. We are truly blessed. And Oshkosh is a wonderful community to be in and to be part of. Also, looking for things to do, check out the Oshkosh Convention and Visitors Bureau um, calendar of events. The Winnebago County Fair is August 3rd through 7th, not that far away. And also, let's talk about EAA. EAA takes place July 25th through the 31st. And like I said, visit the Oshkosh Convention and Visitors Bureau website to find out more about all the wonderful events. Here comes Muslims for Loyalty, the Muslim community in our wonderful community of Oshkosh. Their mosque was established in 2010 and sits right across from Oshkosh West High School. One of the great things that they do in our community is they sponsor blood drives, which of course are badly needed. Um, so let's support each other and let's give blood. What a beautiful flow, lots of people walking. And I love the message, it's Muhammad, the messenger of peace. And peace is what it's all about. So thank you for participating in our parade. Do you hear some music? I hear music. It's the Oshkosh Area Community Band who have been serving and entertaining our community for 35 years. Let's listen as they play Military Escort. really good and they sound good also. That can be you also. If you're interested, you like to play an instrument, let's contact them and you can be part of the Oshkosh Area Community Band under the direction of David Burnt and John Bastin. Here comes the Winnebago County Democratic Party in view right now. Candy's popular, flags are popular. Don't tell anyone, but this is one of my favorite parades in Oshkosh, just because people all come together for the common cause of celebrating our freedoms, the red, white, and blue. 
And the key word today, I think, for all of us is respect. We have to learn to respect each other and respect everyone's opinions and, and thank all those people who serve and are willing to serve. Up next, coming into view, is Lori Palmieri, who's running for State Assembly. Just a reminder for everybody that um, August is the primary for you to vote. So make sure to get out and exercise your right to vote this coming August. What a beautiful classic car. Of course, done in that red. And right behind Lori Palmieri is Tom Nelson for U.S. Senate. Thank them for being in the parade. It's a beautiful day for people to come out and celebrate their freedoms and celebrate each other. Also, a reminder, if you're looking for something to do on Saturdays in the summer, there's the Farmer's Market, 8 to 12.30, right here in downtown Oshkosh. Here we have John Giddings with the McCormick tractor, which he restored. Thank you for being part of our parade. And coming into view is American Black Belt Academy. It's Oshkosh's only not-for-profit martial arts school and it's been operating in town for 35 years. Again, it's nice to see youth of all ages, not only in this parade, but participating in extracurricular activities. As we take a, a good look at this wonderful group here with all of the different belts, I really don't know what all the belt color means, but I think they do a lot to earn those belts, you see blue and white and green and what a great group and coming into view is elks lodge number 292 the elks do so much for our community uh, scholarships helping the youth funding programs so we're glad that they could be here and be part of our community and here there's a wonderful float Again, thank you to Oshkosh Elks Lodge 292 for not only being part of our parade, for also all they do in our wonderful community. Great, great group of people there. And of course, they're very popular because they're handing out candy. And here's Harv Ross on his 1929 Ford Model A Doodlebug Tractor. Also, a lot of our participants in the Oshkosh Parade will be going to the Amro Parade also, so we thank them for giving them their time so generously in the parade. Coming into view is our very own Miss Oshkosh, who participated in the Miss Wisconsin pageant in June. She's a wonderful representation of Oshkosh, uh, Kiana Fielder. So thank you for representing Oshkosh and for all that you do. Julie's Touch of Silver is in sight right now. And Julie's Touch of Silver has been serving our community for 41 years. If there's one thing that we see in this parade is longevity. We see that groups have been around for quite a while and they're all here in our community. And there's Julie's, and I also have to say that a lot of Julie's contestants went on to serve in the Miss Oshkosh pageant, the Miss Teen Oshkosh pageant, and have done really quite well. What a wonderful group. Let's watch them. Lots of cheers for this wonderful group who participate in every parade and do so much good in our wonderful community. Hats off to Julie's Touch of Silver. Please. 
Look at those smiles. You can't have a parade without Julie's Touch of Silver. Thank you very much for being part of our wonderful parade. And again, remember that Waterfest takes place downtown at the Leech on Thursdays. Uh, doors open at 545. Here again, we have the Winnebago County Chapter of Wisconsin Right to Life. Of course, their motto is choose life. Again, just a reminder, we want to thank the crew at Oshkosh Media for being part of this parade. Daryl and Ian and Jake and Scott could not do this parade without them. Here we have the score. 95.3, best sports talk in the area. They drive and they throw out candy at the same time, so thank you. Thank you so very much. You know, our kids in our community are so smart too because they come out well prepared with bags for all the candy that they collect during this wonderful parade here in downtown Oshkosh. Coming into view now are the ordinary riders who have been a fixture in our parade, or they're also known to ride the, ride the high wheel bikes, which to me is so interesting. First of all, it'd be interesting to see how you get up on that bike, but how great. Coming into view right now is the Military Veterans Museum. If you have not been there, go. It's a great place to see our history, to learn about our history. The Military Veterans M Museum, it's right next to EAA on the frontage road, also by Fox Valley Tech. It's a great place to learn about the history and to see trucks and to see a lot of great stuff. There we have Brutus, little Brutus right there. And again, like I said, a lot of these entrants in our parade are going on to the Honorable Parade, which we really thank them for also. Thank you to the Military Veterans Museum from Oshkosh for participating in our parade. Also remember that after the parade from 3 to 10 in Menominee Park, there's 14 food trucks and activities for everyone to do. And then we're praying that the rain will hold off. So our annual fireworks, which are sponsored by Festival Foods, will take place tonight at dusk. Again, this gives me a chance to thank our committee, Dwayne Cannon, Ann Houck, Myron Dimmitt, Joe Busha, Tom Galica, Chuck Butzloff, Dennis Cartwright, Bruce Williams, Jeff Freund, Joe Vandehovel, Gary Lee, Tom Arts, Donna Butzloff, Gloria Cartwright, and Dee Dee Freund for helping us with this wonderful parade. Coming to site right now is a great community group, Altrusa of Oshkosh, do a lot of wonderful programs for our community. They raise a lot of money for things in our community, sponsoring reading, they have a lot of great fundraisers. There's Carlene Christensen, very active member of our group. And behind El Trusta Club are the Oshkosh Warriors, Oshkosh Youth Hockey, and it's Warbirds Hockey. Great group of kids there. Pulled by a wonderful dump truck. Ah handing out candy and water bottles. Great for them. Good group on the roller blades, roller skates. Another activity, if you're not into martial arts, why don't you try hockey? Coming into view right now is KG and the Ranger, who've been a fixture in our parade for many years. And representing the Republican Party, 
is Douglas Mullinax. He's running for the House of Representatives in the 6th District. He's challenging Glenn Grothman. It's just nice that we have people who want to participate, who want to serve, and we thank them for using their time and talents to serve us. Winnebago County Republican Party is coming into sight again with the people that will help serve in the Republican Party. So no matter who you vote for, just remember that they're there and willing to serve for you. Music is such a great part of this parade. Another thing people are handing out, I love it. There's such a variety here today from the candy. They're handing out patriotic beads. Who would want to look good in those beads, especially on the 4th of July? Thank you for being part of our parade. What a big group of people, too. Again, you're watching us on Oshkosh Media, and I'm John Neiman, your host. I have a show here on Oshkosh Media Life TV called The Place to Be Oshkosh. So join us for that show, which highlights not-for-profits and volunteering in our wonderful community of Oshkosh. This is a big procession. Dan Fine, Michael Schwa for State Assembly. Okay, there's a fixture I know really, really well. They announce the ice cream of the day every day, and so we see Leon's coming into sight here. Wonderful place. If you haven't been there, try their hot beef, their juice burgers, and of course, their custard. Again, Oshkosh is known as Event City, so if you're looking for something to do, like I said, the Winnebago County Fair is August 3 through 7th, and EAA is coming up the 25th through the 31st. So there's so much to do in Event City. Check it out. Here coming into sight is AMVED's Post 7. Also remember right here in downtown Oshkosh is our farmer's market every Saturday from 8 till 12.30. Come check it out. People are getting their exercise today. It is a beautiful day. The humidity is really not that bad. It's a little overcast and you get your exercise in, you get to walk. There's Uncle Sam. group of kids shouting USA. It's nice to see all the flags, the flags to just waving. Also, if you'd like to be part of this parade, uh, maybe a group would like to come and be part of this parade. We always can use more music. Why don't you check out the committee? Give Dwayne Cannon a call or Ann Houck, who's the parade coordinator. She does a wonderful job putting this all together. Fire trucks are always popular in any parade, and there is one decked out USA in our wonderful Oshkosh 4th of July parade right here in downtown Oshkosh. That was the O'Connor family fire truck in front of us. Thank you for being part of our parade. And here comes the Oshkosh Youth Soccer Club, a great club always busy, always active in the summer. The smiling kids on top of that van. And right behind them, I don't know if you can hear the music, if you can see their feet moving, but right behind them is Oshkosh Jazzercise. They're into dance fitness.
they have between 15 and 20 dancers here. And that's a long route, our parade, to dance. But we thank them for being in it. Let's give them a watch. I'd get out there and join them, but I'm all hooked up to the microphone and everything, so I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it next year, but it looks like they're having a lot of fun. Look at the smiles on their faces. You know, and there's one word that you cannot say enough today, and that is thank you. Thank you to everyone who makes this parade possible, who give of their time to be part of this, part of this wonderful parade. And coming into view right now is the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. Please check them out. If you're looking for uh, a pet, whether it be a cat, a dog, or a rabbit, check out the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. And if you're not looking to add a pet to your household, why not try volunteering there or donating? They're always in need of items, for, whether it's food or cleaning supplies. So check out the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. And coming into view behind the Humane Society is Oshkosh Lodge number 27, the accepted Masons of Wisconsin. Freemasons, the world's oldest and most established fraternity. Its building is on Washington Ave. If you haven't seen it, it's gorgeous. And it's in the National Register of Historic Places. I also want to say at that building, I'll give a little plug, ACW Wrestling, um, started by Dylan Postal from Oshkosh, great family entertainment. And here comes a Pickard Steward Engine Club from Pickard Farms, established in 1912. Love that wagon. Coming into sight right now is the day DAV Chapter 17 from Winnebago County. The great husband and wife team of Mike and Julie Hurt who give so much back to our community. I'm so happy to announce this group. This is the Oshkosh Area School District Summer High School Marching Band. It's the first year here in our parade. First year joining together students from Oshkosh West and Oshkosh North. Let's give a listen. The marching band is directed by Gloria Dorschner Mackey, Brian Wilson, and Dan Singer. And again, like I said, it's a combination of Oshkosh West and Oshkosh North students. And we are so excited to have them. So very much a well-deserved round of applause for the combined band from the Ashkosh Area School District. Here we have the VFW Nicolay Post from Manasha, Post 2126. And you can't hear this enough. All gave some, but some gave all. And freedom is not free. There is a cost for freedom. And we celebrate all those people, those men and women who gave their lives and are serving right now to protect the wonderful freedoms that we have. 
Again, Menasha VFW Post 2126. And coming into sight is the bug. Hometown Broadcasting. You have to know that voice of Wayne Mauser. Love it. The bug. And Winnebago, Winnebago Land BMX riders. Again, what I love about this, there is so much for everyone to do. Um, if you're a youth in our community, from martial arts uh, to hockey to BMX riding to soccer, there's something for everyone here in Oshkosh, and that's the great thing. And I can't say it enough, I'm born and raised in Oshkosh. This is a wonderful community that gives back. Look at those helmets, too. <laughs> I tell ya, it's Winnebago land, BMX. Thank you for being part of our parade, and thank you for your kids for doing the wonderful job that you're doing. Kids of all ages, and I love the helmets. Wow. Protection and safety first. Again, I do want to thank again um, the groups Oshkosh Defense, Southwest Rotary, and First Weber for handing out the flags to everybody before the parade started. And also all the groups that came, came and participated riding those wonderful motorcycles. Here's a 1929 Model C tractor reminding us about the picket steam and gas engine show coming labor day weekend check it out so remember that was the picket steam and engine club coming into sight right now is the libertarian party of the fox valley their mascot is the porcupine. Again, in this parade, it's nice to see all groups are represented because they all want to serve and they all want to serve us. Oh, candy! Thank you, sir. It's a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> My God. Hey, we're the Fox Valley Libertarians. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Oshkosh Back United Martial stuff. Arts. What a very fitting float that they have. Very simple, but very fitting to show the sacrifices that were made so we can enjoy the freedoms that we have here on the 4th of July. And there's the wonderful group from the Oshkosh United Martial Arts. Hey, Neil Harmon, you're going to be annoying there, buddy. Great group of kids. Again, I have to do some research after this and find out what all the different color belts. I know what a black belt is, but to see all the other belts. But again, the thing about this is to see all the kids participating in this parade on the 4th of July. And it's early for a lot of kids. Remember, it's summer break and the parade started at 9 but you have to be in lineup way before that. So thank you all for participating in Oshkosh's 4th of July Parade. Coming into view right now is a float about the Winnebago County Fair. And also on the float is our representative of the fair, the fairest to the fair. Megan, thank you very much for being part of our parade and for serving us. And we look forward to being at the Winnebago County Fair, August 3 through 7. Again, just a reminder that this parade is brought to you by Oshkosh Media. And if you're looking for a place to volunteer, give Oshkosh Media a shout out, they always can use people. They train you, they do so many different things. Our crew today, Daryl, Ian, Jake and Scott, 
wonderful job here helping us bring the Oshkosh 4th of July Parade to you. So watch it on Life TV on Oshkosh Media. Okay, I hear some beeping. This float is Oshkosh Jewelers. It's a limo bus wrapped in the Oshkosh Jewelers logo. What's very, very cool about this too is that there's such a wide variety of groups represented here in this parade. Thank you Oshkosh Jewelers for being part of this. And right behind them, cool car from Experts. <laughs> Love the purple. Love the flags. Again, just to remind you, there's so much to do in our wonderful community. So please check it out, whether it's Waterfest on Thursdays, the Farmer Market on Saturdays, the Fair in August, EAA coming up the 25th through the 31st. We live in a wonderful and blessed community, and so check out all the events in Event City. Expert is really, really representing lots of vehicles in our parade today, and, which means lots of vehicles, also means lots of candy. Um, no, no. Our next float, Donnie Herman for State Assembly. This is the 54th District. So again, we thank the men and women who are taking the time and the talent and the energy to run for offices in our state. We appreciate that. And here comes Kavanaugh Carriages. Always a fixture in our parade. And there is the parade committee. Could not do it without those people. There's Anne and there's Dwayne, and we thank them tremendously for being part of our parade. They do a wonderful job. We appreciate it very, very much. It's a great day here in Oshkosh. All made possible by the Vietnam Veterans of America who have been doing this parade for 31 years. And this is the city of Oshkosh entry and the parade. How gorgeous, how gorgeous. A float expressing freedom, which is what it's all about. What a great, what a great float. Get a good picture of that. Wow. Got to go back to my notes now. The Wisconsin Leal Veterans of America. They are getting a tremendous ovation here. They also serve, and we're so appreciative of the service that they gave to us right here in Wisconsin. So thank you so very, very much. Well-deserved round of applause, flags waving, much appreciation. And again, the Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 437 was chartered 1989. They have been hosting this 4th of July parade for 31 years. We are so grateful, we are so thankful for them. Not only for their service, but also for what they're doing today with the parade, giving back. It makes this parade so special. So thank you so very much. They support veterans families in King and Toma, the Old Glory Honor Flight. They do so much good in our community, in our state of Wisconsin. So thank you very much, the Vietnam Veterans of America. We are appreciative of all that you do. And again, thank you for joining us. This parade 
is patriotism at its best. It makes you appreciate what you have, celebrating all the freedoms, all the freedoms that we enjoy. And we all come together on this day, but let's come together every day and respect and thank people. And like I said, in my mind, you can never thank people enough for what they do and for what their service. So again, I'm going to thank Oshkosh Media for assisting with this parade um, and all they've done. Watch us on Life TV, watch the replays that we have. Also, if you get a chance, watch my show on Life TV called The Place to Be Oshkosh, which focuses on volunteering and not-for-profits in our wonderful, wonderful community. Also, I have to take a moment to thank our Oshkosh Auxiliary Police, who again are volunteers who give back their time to make sure that everything goes smoothly. What a wonderful day it was and it is in downtown Oshkosh. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Oshkosh Media, for putting on this parade. Have a great 4th of July weekend. This is John Neiman saying, Happy 4th of July.